going on everybody? I'm just showing you uh, a very, very uh, unusual Burger 1022. This one you may not see too many of on YouTube. Uh, this is a very rare gun. You know, there's not many uh, you know that people have like this. And the reason why I say it's rare is because of the fact that I did not do anything to it. There's no scope, no red dot, no aftermarket stock, nothing. This is as is out of the box when I bought it at Gander Mountain. And I didn't even mess with the, uh, the screws on top of the receiver. It's still in the original factory setting or, you know, uh, position. So this is a very rare Ruger 1022. Eh, just more of a joke that I say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, almost every Ruger 1022 I see, you know, on, to, on YouTube, there's been some sort of modification done to it. It has a factory uh, extended magazine release, but that's how about it. So, uh, there's no other uh, things I've done to it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> there's not much to say. Everybody, you know, should know about these, you know know how well made they are, how good they are for the money, how many accessories you can do for them. However, I will say, uh, sorry for the shakiness, but however I will say I may not have this in this configuration forever. Someday I may, what I would love to do, I know I kind of said I wanted to keep this absolutely stock, but since I've seen some videos on YouTube, I kind of fell in love with the way it looked and it was pretty sweet. I would like to get a Archangel uh, body kit for this gun. I would love to uh, get it maybe like in the green that they have. I kind of like the green uh, look. And also, I would love to uh, change out the barrel and put a, uh, I've seen on Brownells, they have the M4 profile type of barrel for this gun. And I think that will look like a miniature version of an AR-15. <laughs> I think it would be pretty cool with that. And I would like to put like a, a clone of an aim point, kind of like the one I got on my uh, AR-15, and maybe put some Magpul, you know, backup iron sights, you know, just for the fact that it's 22, and I don't need no high quality backup iron sights for this gun. Uh, also get them in the green, also kind of make it like a all green type of gun, you know, and. Uh, Maybe uh, put I maybe try to find a, a gas block for a real AR-15 and put it on that gun. Just maybe one with, uh, or I don't know. As far as the sights go, so I forgot to mention about that. Maybe I won't get the Magpul sights. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something different. But I think it would be cool to get like an AR-15 gas block to screw on here. You know, one that you, that's for a real one. And uh, I think it'll really give it more of an AR-15 look. You know, I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe have it with a fixed or you know a flip up sight on it. I think that'll be pretty cool looking. And of course some other things I would love to do that, but of course that's in time, you know not anytime soon because that's a lot of money for the barrel and the stock alone. That's probably well over two hundred dollars. Uh, so, but you know I just want to show this gun real quick and some of the things that may do it to it down the road. Uh, you know, like I said, I was going to leave it completely stock, but when I seen that stock hit and that barrel is actually the main reason. Uh, I think that will just, I will just, you know, take it from this stock configuration and do that. It will just make it look very, very cool looking, I think. So, alright, well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.